Hi everyone, it's Marlene. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to create a look using new products, old products, well not really old, but products that I have had for a while. Because as I said in last week's video, I really want to start using some of the products that I have and maybe you have the same products and you could see maybe a different way of using them. Let's see what we come up with. I really don't have anything specific in mind to do. I just figured we'd just go along with the flow. I'm going to start out with the Pure Correcting Primer and this is a dark spot correcting primer. I haven't used it that often. I have it for a, a couple of months. Just a little tiny bit and it has a kind of a peachy color. I'm really, really trying to get through products that I've already had for about a year. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Anastasia Pro Pencil 2, and I really like using this to carve out my brows and just give it that more finished look. And I use it in base two. There's base one and base two. The base two is a little darker. I just go around the perimeter of my brows, Instagram brows, I, I don't know. And now I will use my angled Real Techniques brush and just blend it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to use something a little different today. Instead of the CeraVe eye cream, I'm going to use the First Aid Beauty. So just a tiny little drop and placing it right underneath my eye area. All right. Let's try a new primer today, a new eye primer. Let's see how this one works out. And this one is from Urban Decay. This was included in a Chris, I think, I don't remember if it was Christmas or birthday or something. Christy gave me this packaging from Urban Decay and it had a couple of shadows in it and it had the eye primer. And this has kind of like a skin tone to it. I have to do something with my paint pot because I think it's drying out. I need to maybe put some oil in it or something. If anybody has any suggestions, let me know. Oh yeah, I think I like this one. I'm getting a blister, a cold blister on my lips. So that is what you are seeing. I know, I said I wasn't going to buy any more foundations, but you know, I went to Sephora today to take those concealers, the Rainforest of the Sea concealers, and of course, I'm in Sephora. You'd think that I'm really not going to get anything, so I did return those two. So <laughs> I got the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour. This is the hydrating one, and I purchased mine in a in 3.0 and it ha it's glass it has a pump has a lid to it i have not heard much about this i'm i'm sure that there have been lots of youtubers that have talked about it but i i haven't seen anything so we will see i just saw it there it was on a display so i picked it up because that's just what i need is another another foundation right those of you that have been with me for a while I had the Flawless, Flawed or Flawless foundation where I would be testing out different foundations. Let's see. I don't know. I just picked one out. I don't even know if this is my color. Let me know if any of you have used this foundation and what you think. I mean, it's, I'm not going to be able to test it very long because it's like none nine o'clock or 9 30 right now once again after i finish i will be washing this off you know what i'll do because by the time that i upload the video and i do all of the description box i've already had this on for a while so i will let you know how this foundation wears throughout the day unless you want me to do go back to doing the flawed or flawless foundation reviews let me know and i'll start doing those again i just um i didn't know if i should do that again or not i like doing those and <laughs> those videos because <laughs> i was able to get a bunch of foundations and i'm a foundation junkie among other things i have a really serious problem obviously 
I'm really wondering how this looks on video because from what you see on when you actually see the video to what I am seeing now on the viewfinder or on my mirror without any glasses is two totally different things. I want to add some Fix Plus. If Mac ever decides to stop making that, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, so the only thing that I have on my lips right now, the Too Faced Lip Injection. I think the power has gone out, but it makes my lips red. But that's all I all I have right now. I figured maybe the, some of that minty will make that blister go away. I know. Let's go with an old product. This I've had for a while. This is the MAC Conceal and Correct. This is the darkest color available. This is available in probably four or five different colors. And I have the darkest one and you have a neutralizing, a yellow on one side, and then you have on the other side, in mine, it's pretty orange. But if you're fair skinned, then you would get a lighter one and that instead of orange, it would be um, a peachy color. I just put three dots there and as you can see, that's plenty. Just try to hide the darkness a bit. What are you all doing for Valentine's Day? Are you doing anything? I know what I'm doing, I'm working. We don't have off for Valentine's Day. When I was, when I was young, we used to have off for George Washington and, and um, Lincoln's birthday back in the 60s. We don't have that anymore. Maybe you do in, in your part of the country, but in Florida, it's a, it's a regular teacher day. It's a regular teacher work day. I, they might even give the kids off, the students have off, but the teachers, it's a work day for us. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use the neutralizer one and I'm going to just, just tiny little dots because I don't wanna put a bunch of products in, underneath my eye and, and make it all cakey. I will look like I have some black and blues underneath my eyes. It'll get better, you'll see, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. Look up, get into those lines. The dark circles and all of that nonsense should be all covered up. I'll go now with the Makeup Forever HD in Y33. Take my little drop. So this would be another older product, nothing new. I think I put too much of that orangey corrector on. That's okay. You'll see. I'll fix it. It's just makeup. It's just makeup. We could wash it off. I don't want to put any more concealer. So let's do something. Let's take some Maybelline. This is the neutralizer in the, uh, the Maybelline Rewind. Let's add some of that underneath there. Notice how I go really low. Okay. Let's see if this works. Just a Mac Fix Plus. All right. What do you think? See no more orange. Not too many lines either. I think it has a lot to do with using the sponge with the MAC Fix Plus. It just really helps. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, I just took out some shadows that I haven't used in a while and I thought I would use them today for this look and we'll see what look we come up with. I'm going to start off, I've got a, uh, a Z palette here and these are all Makeup Geeks. So I'm gonna start off with Creme Brulee and I'm gonna start making that crease like I always do. Now I'm gonna take Carnival, which is this one right here. It's uh, lavender. And I'm gonna go right over Creme Brulee.
I want to take some of this Fashion Addict. It, it's a little bit deeper, but right in the same family. I'm going to take a little bit of that one. I want to go right kind of at the end of it and bring it out. There is a reason why I'm doing this, I promise. <laughs> Okay, now that I have those colors placed there, now I'm going to take a flat brush. This is that little Bare Minerals brush. I'm going to take some concealer, same HD concealer, and take a little bit, put it on my hand. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a cut crease. What I'm doing is right in the socket is where I'm applying the concealer. I'm, that's what I am using as a guide. So I'm not going over the shadow. All I'm basically doing is just cleaning up any edges from the shadows that I have already applied. And then I'm winging it up. And there are many ways to do this. This is what I think is the easiest way to do it. For me anyway. I'm going to go in with the darker color in just a little bit. But right now, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea. It's not going to be perfect. We're just playing. It's just makeup. Okay. I'm going to go back in with the pencil brush. I'm going to use Curfew, which is this one right here. As you can see, I had just, I lined them up uh, because I usually use them that way. So now I am going to make darken that up a bit. Now I am going to use a an eye pencil. This is by Ico and it is a fat eye stick. I must have gotten this in a boxy charm or a glossy box or something which I no longer receive and I don't think I've ever used it. But this looks like a silver. Did you pick up a color on that? I really can't distinguish what color it is. It looks, here, let me show you this way. Toppy. But anyway, I'm going to put that on my movable lid. Now for a new product, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist. I am going to use Pink Opal. Pink Opal is this one. And I'm going to go right over that Ico that I just placed on my, on my movable lid. And if you could see all I'm doing is just patting, and this will now take a pinkish color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this Ico on this eye, and I'll show you the difference between the one that I used the Kat Von D and with, before I used the Kat Von D. Without the pink from the Kat Von D, as you can see, this one is gray. At least that's what it's looking to me, and I don't like it in gray. Back with the pink. And this works really well on black, on white, on brown. Any, any eye pencil that you have, you could just place it on and it doesn't have to be anything expensive. I've even used it on the NYX, on the, on the milk pencil or the, or the black one, it doesn't matter. And it'll take a totally different color with this Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to use Taboo, and Taboo is a dark, dark purple, and I'm putting it in my outer ruby. What 
I'm going to do some blending. I'm going to go back in with some more Taboo and bring it up some because I didn't bring it up enough. Well, I deviated from the cut crease because I started adding this purple on the end and totally did away with what I was doing. I'm going to go back in with the cream brulee and I want to go right over. It just really helps when you take a very neutral color and you go right over the edge. It just meshes all the colors together and it gives it a more finished look. I'm going to use Starry Eyed, which is a champagne looking color right there. And I'm going to use that for my brow bone. I'm going to use a very, very small pencil brush to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to go back in with Taboo. Now to make it look a little bit more finished in the bottom and the lower lash line, I'm going with Carnival, the one of the first colors that we started out with. Same brush, I just cleaned it up. Right below it and to the center. So you basically have the darker color in the outer third part of the eye. Now to open up the eyes a little bit, I'm going to take the same color, starry eyed I think it was, and I'm going to do the inner corners. Now I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie, <laughs> my Giorgio Armani mascara. This is probably already, oh no, it's not dried out already. I need to get some more of this one. Since we're going for kind of a glamour look today, let's go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. Get rid of some of these jowls. One of my YouTube friends, Mandy from September Beauty. She's, she said something along the lines of there's no amount of contour that's gonna get rid of the jowls and she's absolutely right. Okay, for your contour, you wanna just move it up. Just patting motions and up. And for your nose, just more towards the center. You could do this with a brush as well. I just use the Beauty Blender for just about everything. Now I'll take the light one. I'm going down my nose. And try to diminish some of these lines a little bit. None of these kind of, I don't know how much this is going to, how much of these lines this is going to do, but anyway, it's, I'm just playing with makeup. I'm not too sure I'm too fond of this foundation, honestly. And the reason that I'm not that fond of it is because it seems like my pores are magnified. Otherwise, I'm just looking too long in the uh, 10 times magnifying mirror. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of brightness here. I'm using the uh, Touche Clot, and this is an almond. As long as I don't bring it near my eyes, we're good. It's when I start getting too close to the eyes, that's when the problem, that is when we have a problem. I'm gonna use uh, Foxglove from Becca, just to continue on with the theme of the pinks and the purples. If you ever feel that you have too much of the blush on, just add a little bit of powder and, and it'll be fine. Okay, for lips, I'm going with Anastasia and Dusty Rose. 
and that is a new product. And some Anastasia gloss and gilded. If you want to make certain that your lips look nice and finished, a little bit of concealer, slanted brush. I think I'm going to top it off with White Russian from Buxom. I also just purchased this Jouer highlighter in ice and I haven't used this one. I'll show it to you as soon as I can open it. These are very delicate and that's ice. So what I'm going to do is just a little bit Oh yeah, could you see it? Ooh. All right, here's the finished look. I love to hear what you think. I thought it turned out pretty nice using products that were new or that I was testing out. And and uh, yeah, the only thing I'm not too, I, I don't know, I'm still, the jury's still out is on the Smashbox foundation. But other than that, I thought everything else turned out uh, pretty well. I was happy to, use my makeup geek that I haven't used in about six months so it was nice to use them again leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about this look about any of these products that you may have tried that you want to get that you gave away because you absolutely hate it let me know if you're new to my channel welcome thank you all so much for watching thank you for taking a piece out of your day to spend with me and don't forget ladies follow your passion whatever it may be I'll see you in the next video bye